Hey, what's going on crew? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Serrano. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 for the first time and going ahead and unboxing it and taking a look at the first impressions. And I was able to get this device for a really affordable price, but if you're brand new to the crew, so... Hey, what's going on crew? So I've been meaning to pick up the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 for a minute now, and it was released in August 27, 2021. And when unfolded, it's a 7.6 inch display, but when folded, it's gonna be a 6.2 inch AMOLED front cover display. Hey, what's going on guys? So I've been meaning to get my hands on the Samsung Galaxy Fold 3, which costs around $1,500 brand new, but I was able to get it on an open box deal, which was a very good condition and basically brand new out of the box. Now the unboxing experience is pretty cool. You're gonna get a Type-C to Type-C cable, with the quick start guide inside of the packaging as well as the sim rejector tool so you can actually switch out the sim card and it does come with dual speakers as well as the type c on the bottom a triple camera setup which we'll get into in just a second but it does have an inner facial camera as well as an outer facial camera and when folded out it does in fact look like a tablet with 5g capability and 120 hertz refresh rate on the inner display now at first look and first grab the device basically had no juice to it so i powered it on and basically charged it up for about 20 minutes or so and I was able to get 20% battery life and I started the startup process and connected my device to the Wi-Fi, checked for updates and loaded the software as well as folded this device for the very first time. The device does have a space in between when you fold it but it's barely noticeable as well as the crease which is actually dead center in the middle of the device and it does have facial recognition pattern password pin and a side mounted fingerprint sensor. So after powering on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 I was able to load up some of the apps as well as the native ones and pick which ones I wanted to install and it was a pretty quick setup process because this device will be basically running on the One UI 4.1 Android 12. You could pick it up for a lower price than the Z Fold 4 and I definitely think that this device still is able to compete with the Z Fold 4 if you're not looking for all the latest features. So I was pretty impressed with some of the features under the hood as far as the camera because it was fully loaded with everything that all the flagships from Samsung have to offer including the 12 megapixel telephoto lens, 12 megapixel ultra wide, 12 megapixel main camera that is basically going to give you a really good visual experience when you're taking photos. You're also going to get 4K at 30 frames and 60 frames and IPX8 water resistancy. But this thing will basically pack every single feature under the hood including NFC, a gyroscope, Type-C reversible charge, USB 3.2 as well as Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2, Dolby Atmos and a whole lot more. But make sure you guys stay locked into the end of the video because I definitely think this device is going to offer a lot when it comes to the price and you can basically get it for half the price of the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 but just type in the comment section I'm still here and hashtags and I just want to remind you to hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people okay as far as the security features on this device you do get a side mounted fingerprint sensor with facial recognition, pattern, password, and PIN. And I definitely think it was a quick experience when it came to transferring my data over from my older device to this one. And so I didn't really run into any issues when I was setting this device up for the very first time. And this device is definitely gonna be extremely capable when it comes to the overall operating system because it was originally running on Android 11 with One UI 3.1.1, but now it's gonna be upgradable to Android 13 with the One UI 5. And so I've been a huge Samsung Galaxy fan since the Samsung Galaxy Mega. Then I transferred over to the Note 4 
and even the A series. But when Samsung announced that they were going to be releasing a foldable series, I waited until the third generation because it felt like the overall user experience was going to be perfected over time. When it comes to the software experience, I definitely think that this device is going to stand out because it's going to pack a lot of power with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888, as well as 12 gigabytes of memory, 256 gigabytes of storage or 512. And it's not going to support removable storage, but just keep in mind it will pack a decent battery at 4,000. 400 milliamp hours and so when it comes to transferring from the inner display to the outer display or vice versa it was an extremely immersive experience because you're going to get the dynamic amoled panel which is 2208 times 1768 as far as the density of pixels and it's going to give you a 5.4 ratio at 374 ppi with hdr 10 and 120 hertz refresh rate unfolded this device was going to give you an outer display of 2208 times 1768 with a 7 point inch display at 5.4 ratio with 374 pixels per inch hdr 10 and 120 hertz refresh rate and so when it came to the external display it was also a dynamic amoled panel at 2268 times 832 with 389 ppi and a 25 by 9 aspect ratio with 120 hertz as well and so this device will offer you two different selfie cameras one on the outside which is superior to the one on the inside and a rear camera which was a 12 megapixel main camera which definitely looked good when it came to recording in nighttime that went up to 4k 60 and an under display camera at 4 megapixels which was basically pretty decent but not the best that i ever seen in the entire world and so while using the cameras outdoors at nighttime i did find that it was a pretty good experience overall when it came to the video and so even indoors on the low light experience as well you were going to pretty much get a decent shooter when it came to the samsung galaxy z fold 3 okay and so while holding this device with one hand with the screen shut I definitely think that it felt really good when it came to the one-handed user experience but this device does offer two screens as well so it's going to give you that foldable outer display as well and it actually feels really immersive when you're watching content on the inner display and so I was really enjoying this phone for the first impressions and 24 hours of using it and so the hinge on this phone definitely felt pretty sturdy and it didn't feel like i was going to break it as well and when it came to typing on the outer display with that single screen it definitely held up really well when typing with one hand but when i folded it outward i was able to game on this device with no issues whatsoever and it was one of the best experience when it came to gaming because you're going to get a premium processing chip with some really nice refresh rates and so the Dolby Atmos stereo speakers did sound pretty good when I was playing games and even watching movies and taking phone calls. So I was able to multitask seamlessly and I found that this device was really good when it came to watching movies, browsing social media taking pictures or pretty much anything that you wanted to do because it's going to pack all the features that you would expect like samsung dex smart view nearby share qr scanner always on display wi-fi calling nfc the secure folder and a whole lot more no gas though after 24 hours of using this device i'm definitely convinced that the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 is still worth picking up and I'm definitely looking forward to testing this device in a lot more detail because it was extremely responsive when it came to the GPS navigation. It also did include wireless charging as well as sharing when you were charging your devices such as headphones or smart watches and I found that the inner display was just 
almost like a tablet when you were holding it in your hand. But let me know what you guys think about the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 and I'll get right back with you, okay? But do me a favor, make sure you hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people. Follow me on social media and watch another video on the left or the right hand corner. And I'll check you guys later, okay? Later. Peace.